Hey guys! So pastel um, eyeshadow is always a massive trend in spring summer and I'm pretty sure it's going to feature on many a catwalk this London Fashion Week. So I thought I would show you guys how to get ahead of the trend and be ready for spring summer um, with this amazing pastel eye matched with a lovely peach sort of apricot toned lip. So if you guys want to know how to create this look then please keep watching. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off by applying a really nice fresh base, something that looks very natural. So for this I'm going to use some mineral makeup. So first off I'm going to conceal and I'm going to take, this is Earthnicity and it's their um, mineral concealer. And on a small brush, I'm just going to use one of my eyeshadow brushes, I'm just going to start concealing the areas that need a bit more coverage. So areas like my chin where I have a few blemishes just now and um, areas around my nose which are often a bit redder than the rest of my skin. My skin especially in the winter seems to take on a definite sort of redder appearance um, around sort of the center of my face so it does need a bit more coverage than the rest going to take a little bit of that out on my cheeks here. So now I'm going to move on to my foundation and for this I'm going to match in with the concealer and I'm going to use a um, mineral foundation. So this is the Earthnicity mineral foundation. Mine is in porcelain because my skin is so pale in um, winter. I just seem to lose my entire tan. And now I'm going to take this on my um, mineral brush by Sephora. You can use a kabuki brush though if you'd rather. And I'm just going to start buffing this into the skin. So this is great. You can build up coverage where you need it most. So you just start off with nice light application and then you can go in where you feel you need a bit more. Now if you have dry skin sometimes powdered foundations are not great but with mineral ones it doesn't dry out your skin so they're still great for that and then with oily skin powder foundations are great because it's going to soak up any oils that you have on your skin so we've got our base on and now we're going to move on to our eyes. Okay, so to start off this eye we're going to take a very sunshiny colour and in fact this is actually called sunshine. And this is a Earthnicity eyeshadow and it is a lovely yellow colour. So I'm just going to take this on a flat brush and I am going to place this on the inner corner of my eye and just pack it on. I always find that really weird saying but that's kind of what you're doing. Make sure you take it right on this inner inside corner here as well, right round and blending it underneath that first third of your eye here. So you don't want to be brushing it about, you're more kind of pushing it on to get that intensity of the colour. Like so. Next up we're going to take a really pretty blue. Now I'm not sure if number 17 still do this eyeshadow palette and if they don't it's a shame. It's a three palette, it's called Dolly Mixture and it's amazing. So it's got this blue, a yellow and a pastel pink colour and I'm going to use the blue and on a fluffy brush I'm just going to take that on the outer edge and start blending that into the yellow here. Not going too far into the yellow, just take it up to the line. But you don't want to have no colour. <clears throat> Gosh, my throat sounded very weird there. You don't want to have no colour, so. And just blend it into that crease line 
as well. The great thing with pastels is they're so soft in colour. You can create sort of any eye shape you want. If you want to wing it out a bit, you can. If you want to keep it more rounded, then that's fine. It's really up to you. And you also want to take some of this colour underneath your eye. So I'm going to take a slightly smaller brush. This is the Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to take some of that blue underneath my eye as well. So just now all you're doing is mirror it, mirroring even what you're, you've done on top underneath. So it's really nice and simple. I'm just going to put a bit more on to intensify that colour. So next up, we want to darken this in a bit. So to do that, I'm going to take a slightly darker blue. Now this is quite a wintry, cool toned blue and it's called Arctic. And it's a really beautiful shimmery blue color by Earthnicity. And um, it is a wintry color, but it works very well on top of this pastel color that we have. And it just adds a bit of definition. So I'm just gonna take that on the outer corner as you can see, it doesn't change a huge amount. It's just going to add a bit more of a definition to it. I'm going to blend that up into the crease line as well. Don't worry about any fallout, as you can see here, because we'll just take that off afterwards. And you just want to blend underneath the eye as well. And then you just want to blend that all in again. So I'm going to just remove that fallout. So I've removed the fallout now that I've finished with my eyeshadow and I'm going onto my eyeliner. And first off, I'm going to take a coloured, this is a really bright blue colour by Barry M. It is number 19. And I'm going to run this along my waterline first off. I'm also going to take a little bit in this outside edge corner here. And I'm going to take that along the top as well on the outside. Just for another added pop of colour. Because it's a really beautiful blue colour, as you can see. Next, I'm going to darken this in a bit. But instead of taking a black eyeliner, I'm going to use a brown eyeliner and this one is L'Oreal Contour Call and I'm going to take this on my upper lash line but on the water line so not above the lashes but below it and this is a really good trick if you're trying to do a no makeup makeup or get a really softer but still defined lash line then if you just put it on this water line up here it's going to make your eyelashes look thick but without looking like you have too much of a heavy eyeliner on. I'm also going to take this on the outside portion of my upper lash line, just because I think it looks really pretty to have a sort of more defined outer edge to the eye. And it also makes your eyes look further apart, which is really photogenic and um, it just looks really pretty. So the trick if you have um, eyes that are close together is to have light on the inside and darker on the outside and that is going to make your eyes appear further apart. So we're just going to take that out. I'm just going to join the two lines together and then I'm just going to blend them in as well so that the line's not so harsh. So I'm just going to go back to the brush that we've been using the blue with and we're just going to blend a bit more, like so. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes first using my Shu Amira eyelash curlers. It's so important to curl your eyelashes because it really opens your eye up. And then I'm going to take my False Seas Mascara by Maybelline, which has become my new favourite mascara. I'm just going to wiggle my brush, make sure you get, again, that outer edge, keep it darker than the rest of your makeup. So make sure you get those bottom lower lashes in the outside corner. 
and a little bit on the inside. Really layer it on. I really love the way that if you wear light colour on your eyelid, your eyelashes when you put on a black eye um, mascara look really, really defined. So last up, just to finish off this look, we're going to do our eyebrows. So I am just going to take a eyebrow powder and a angled liner brush. And my powder is just, it's actually an eyeshadow powder and it's by Inglot. And I'm just going to fill in any gaps and just give my eyebrows a bit more of shape. So that's our eyes finished and let's finish off the rest of our face. Okay, so to finish off this look, I'm going to start adding a bit of colour. It's going to be spring, I'm going to want to have a slight tan instead of my really pasty Scottish winter skin. So I'm going to add some bronzer and this is um, an Earthnicity mineral bronzer to match with my foundation and concealer. So I'm just going to apply this to places that usually the um, sun would naturally catch and also use it as a slight contour. So I'm going to use it below my cheekbones just here and I'm going to bring that up towards my temples as well. Just to add a spot of colour. Don't want anything too extreme. We're not wanting to look like we've been on the sunbeds for a couple of days. So just contouring it and bringing it up around your temples and then just blend that across your forehead as well where the sun is naturally going to catch. Take a small bit down the centre of your nose and across your chin as well. Just for a bit of colour and also if you take it underneath your jawline then that's going to help out with any double chins and it's just going to make you look a lot more structured. So next up we're going to add a really soft um, flush of colour. So I'm going to use a really pretty petal colour and it's actually called Petal again by Earthnicity. It's a mineral blusher and it's a very light pink blusher. So I'm just going to apply this to the centre of the centre or to my cheekbones and this has a sort of shimmer to it so it's also going to act as a very lovely highlight as well. So this is more a very subtle blush colour but it just ties in with keeping this look really soft with your eyes. I'm just going to blend that out as well. I really like when you're wanting to create a really soft look, if you blend your blusher almost in a triangle here, then it just really softens the whole face. And then lastly, for lips, I'm going to use a colour that I just love and I don't get to wear that often because it is definitely a spring and a sort of summer colour, but it is the Yves Saint Laurent and this is in 144 and it is so almost done as you can see but this is amazing apricot color so I'm going to apply this on as well which is just going to work beautifully with the pastel eyes and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slight sort of lighter color into the middle of my lips. So this was in one of, it's a really old one actually, it was MAC and it was in um, one of their beach collections years ago. It's a very light shimmery apricot colour. So I'm going to add that to the middle of my lips. And then also I'm just going to add a pop of gloss as well and it was from the same collection this one. And it's this amazing sort of um, apricot colour but it has blue glitter flecks through it so it's just going to tie really well in with the eyes. And I also love a bit of gloss. 
So this guys is the finished look. It's so pretty and it's so wearable as we come into spring and I think we should just bring it to spring quicker than spring is coming because it is freezing here in London just now. Um, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!